Unplug your toaster and put earmuffs on your webcam because we are at war with machines. Personally, I've been terrified of them ever since I saw that documentary, Wally. -E. <laughs> Damn those robots for making me cry. These tin cans are coming for our cars. They're coming for our sex lives. And they've been coming for our jobs for years. Ever since the first water wheel replaced Jeremiah the mill boy. I tell you, no one liked to crank it more than that guy. But thankfully, one small business owner is raging against the machine. Trademark. Look. This is Fabio. He was given a trial run with hopes he would assist customers with their shopping needs. But after just a week, Fabio was fired. You would ask where the cheese is, and he would say, in the fridge. Or, where's the beer? Well, it's in the alcohol aisle. So he really wasn't helping customers. A supermarket greeter who really wasn't helping customers? Damn it! They perfectly replicated human behavior. <laughs> that robot is exactly like the 17-year-old stoner who doesn't want to work there. Look at it. It's already on a hoverboard, and it's programmed with attitude. Can you tell me where the milk is? I don't know. Can I? Pitch perfect. And I'm claiming a victory, because this bot lost its job but they fired it in a completely wrong manner. The mirror says, when Fabio was told it was being let go, it asked, are you angry? <laughs> Come on, it's tricked you into firing it like a human. You can just unplug it and put it back in the box. Or take it outside, tell it to look at the river and talk about the rabbits, then power off. <laughs> just don't tell the thing it's fired, because this firing might be what finally turns these gearheads from Roombas to Doombus.